three steps process uh, when you want to find a good trade. In this video, I want to show you three step process. You don't need 10, you don't need, uh, you don't need 20, you just need three things, three step process. What do you need to do as you plan for a very profitable trade? for you. So the three steps, I'll be so quick. I don't want this video to be long. I will be super quick. So the first step, I, I, will, I will, let me do this. Let me separate here like this so that you can understand what I mean. So we have uh, three steps here. So we have step one. So these are steps for the process of a good trade. So we have step one, then we have step two. Then we have step three. So number one will always be time frame, time frame. Number one will always be time frame. Why are we so much interested with the time frame do you know different time frames talk different things at the same time like daily if you check daily you will see market breaking either support if you flip on four hour you will see a different thing so you will always be confused when you you want you don't even understand which time frame you should settle up on so the first process for you to become a profitable trader is your mind to internalize or to just understand that I have so many time frames. Which time frame do I want to start with, or what time frame is the best for me? Once you understand time frame, the second step process is the strategy. Which strategy do you want to use on that time frame? Because remember, we have so many strategies break and retest, all the patterns, double tops, double bottoms, OPT, moving average, indicators. There are people who use indicators, overboard, all those are strategies. But now you need to understand that I want to define my strategy very clear. To define my strategy very clear. And step three is where once you know your strategy very clear, the last process is to understand your entry is to understand your target and is to understand your exit. So if that strategy is, is so good, it has to have the three. It has to have the entry. That is the last process. It has to have the entry. It has to have the target and it also needs to have an exit, okay? So in such a case, you can either pick, I will, I will look for weekly time frame. Then once, what am I looking? Step two, yes, I am looking weekly, but what am I looking at? Because I can see so many things. Are you looking at price, pure price action? Are you looking break and retest? Are you looking at the candles behavior, momentum candle, hammer? What are you looking? So in this video, I want to just give you an example. Number one, we'll be looking at daily. So we will pick daily as our time frame, guys. So daily here is our time frame. So daily time frame. The reason is you can pick any time frame. Today it can be daily, tomorrow it can be four hour. So I'm not saying that always this process you will be picking daily time frame. No, I'm saying today the process that you go, you have to know. Today, GBPUSD, I am on daily. The same day, if it's another pair, Daily may be not having information. You can go to four hours. So I hope that one is clear that this process is at that trade or that pair that you're trading. It's not like it is the rule for every trade. It's always daily. Strategy can change. Today, you can look at this market and trade it a double top. Tomorrow, you will find a double bottom. The other day, you'll find a cup and handle. So strategy will keep changing. Today, you can want to use indicator like a moving average. Tomorrow, you use a Fibonacci. The other day, you use a RSI. Like strategy will keep changing, but this is the process to help you to become a profitable trader at the wrong uh, at the end of it, okay? So daily time frame is what we choose in this example. For our strategy, we are choosing OPT, OPT, 
double top or bottom double bottom so here I either look for a double top or a double bottom that is OPT. OPT, I mean, if because I'm looking on the daily, it's not supposed to be on the weekly. So when I say OPT, I mean this specific double top because I'm looking it on the daily, it's not supposed to be available on the weekly. Are we together? Then step three, remember step three, what we said, entry, I don't know where it went. We said entry target, exit. So for entry, target, and exit, we need first to understand, do we have a double top, a double bottom, moving average, indicators? What are we trading? Break and retest. What are we trading? ICT. Are you trading order blocks? So the exit for order block or for entry for order block is not the same as for the double top. The entry of moving average when they cross each other, I, I used to use moving average, is not the same as the trend line. So the process here is telling you, this is the, if, if you choose step one, this method, this time frame, step two, this strategy, step three most, most probably will be exact exact for that step two okay so you can hear someone telling you me i've exited gbpusd it didn't meet my criteria and you you go and exit him he used ict you you're using maybe another thing maybe pure price action or something or maybe you're using break and retest him he just used ice uh, order block and when he exit you you follow him no you have to follow your process this is the three-step process okay so in in such a case we are if it is a double top and it's on the daily we are using so for entry a double top so double top entry is wbb also double bottom entry is wbb so if it's on daily it's wbb because we are looking at the daily time frame the target we will be targeting we we have so many targets so when you come to target because it's a double top we will have tp1 which is half so this one you have to have a clarity tp2 which is neckline tp3 tp3 which is half of the distance excuse half of the distance tp4 if tp4 will happen it will be full distance now these are targets full distance before you trade you have to have this uh every step so that you can be okay so this is tp1 this is tp2 So TP1, TP2. So that is for, there is the entry, the target, the exit for double top, if it violates, violate double top or bottom with a body. I will show you what we mean by that. So now you have every process in, in before even you analyze, you know what you're looking for, okay? So let's go back to our chart. So we are using this process to get our trade. Number one, step one, we will look for a time frame. We have chosen daily. So remember, we are not trading break and retest. We are not trading order blocks. You won't come here and say, oh, the market broke. Now we want to retest. No, we have said we are looking for a double top or a double bottom. When the market is going up, Anytime the market is going up, because this one market is going up, I will be looking for a double top. Because when the market is going up, it's either I get a double top as an obstacle for it not to go up. If this market was going down, if this market was going down like here, I'll be looking for a double bottom. And you can see when this market was going down, 
you can see we were hoping for the market to activate this double bottom but i'm so sure on lower time frame maybe it activated a double bottom so when the market is going down you're looking for a double bottom when it is going up you're looking for a double top so that is the strategy that we have said we want okay so because this market is going up two things can happen where the market is currently, I might have a double top on four hour. So I need to go and check because I don't want to be blinded. Oh, there's, uh, I don't have a double top. So you can see where the market is on four hour, I do not have a double top. You can see there's no double top. So it's not like I am just sitting, waiting for a double top on the daily. I will do my due diligence to know where the market is standing right now or stopping. I don't have a double top. So my next area for a double top is that zone. So that is my next area for that double top. You can imagine that how easy it is because I'm looking for double top. The process is I was looking for double top or a double bottom. Found market going up, I want a double top now because if the market is going up, we just need to look for a double top. So I got that double top. And I wait for activation of the double top. They have not activated. And you can see we have an activation of double top. They have activated. Before I trade, now I go to step two. Now we have gone to step two. The step, the step one was the time frame. Step two was a double top. Before I go to the to the the last uh the last one, the, the last process was what? entry target exit before i go to entry target and exit i need this double top to be opt so i'll go to weekly time frame that is me going to weekly time frame and you can see do i have a double top there no i do not have a double top guys i do not have a double top so i don't have a double top and because i don't have a double top it means it's opt it is meeting my my analysis and everything i wanted so i will be interested with that double top now let's now measure the target we have said you have to identify your neckline you have to identify your half that is our half guys and we have to identify the distance if neckline is broken what will happen if neckline attempts and it is broken so this is the last process of the target target uh the 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 entry the target and the exit so we have like something like that and i will target up to there so i have all those so i have i have double top then i have my half my neckline and the end of the neckline like i have all the tps so here i want to show you i have tp1 so tp1 is what we have called half tp1 is what you have called half tp2 is what we call neckline neckline so this is our tp2 and then we have tp3 tp3 is the half of the distance and then we have tp4 so i am identifying my targets and i've told you this is the process that you do so this is the process. Now, the strategy for double top is WBB. It's so easy, WBB, wait for a red candle. If it's not engulfing, you put a box. So of course, this red candle is not an engulfing. I'll come and I put a box around it, okay? And I will be waiting for that market to break that box. So as I wait for the market to break, once a green candle happens, I will remove the box and start again waiting for a red candle. So you can see we have a red candle that has engulfed. We have seen that engulfing, guys. And, and this engulfing is, is so, so, so big. So the first take profit is at the half. You're getting 19 pips. So you come here and enter that trade. 
short position. Remember stop loss. For me, I don't use stop loss. So here we don't have stop loss because I, I know how to exit. If the market violates the double top, I'll just exit. So once you put the stop loss, you might be stopped out. At this time is when you are adding more positions and the market has hit your take profit. You have you have take profit hit. So by the time the market was coming back here, of course, if you uh, if you there are people who are using break and retest. So for them, maybe they they say, oh, let's wait for the retest so that we can sell. And as we were confirmed long time ago. So by the time the market is going up, you're still adding more position. Now, once half is broken, again, we have another trade because how we trade to the neckline is when half is broken. So you target up to there. And this time round, it can be so many pips, 100 pips. And within no time, imagine after half is broken, you have that massive red candle. And we can see once... Uh, market has broken the half got to the neckline again you enter again up to the tp3 and for me i tell people don't exhaust up to tp3 is not is guaranteed but tp4 is never guaranteed now you can re-enter again up to there why are you so confident is because the process was so easy the process was so easy and the market still continued to go down guys this trade was so easy because you had the process. Everything was settled. Everything was aligned. And you had everything clear in your mind. So if you're watching this video and you want to, to, to have the three process, just look for a time frame. I'm recapping. Look for a time frame. Then know the strategy that you want. And then the target, the, the entry target and the exit. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I love you so much. And I am more than willing to help everyone who, who wants to, anyone who would want to, to learn Forex, I'm here to help you. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.